Today, I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to use Storehouse. Storehouse is an app that will appeal to photo and multimedia hounds. It takes all of your digital photos and video clips and turns them into these really compelling narratives in a nice scrolling format. The app launched earlier this year and is free to download, but unfortunately for Android users, it's only available on iPad, iPhone, and the web right now. Now there are many other apps out there that will grab your digital photos and videos and turn them into narratives, like Animoto or even Google Plus Stories, which my colleague Katie reviewed. But let's go through Storehouse and you can decide if this is the right app for you. When you first open Storehouse, your home feed will show all of the stories of the people that you're following, as well as stories that have been republished, which is sort of like retweeting. Let's look at a few of those afterwards, but for now, I'll show you how to make a story in Storehouse. You tap this button here and then you opt to import photos from your camera roll. Or you can import photos from any one of these sources, Instagram, Dropbox, Flickr, you get the picture. Then you select a handful of photos and video clips. You can select up to 50 per story and Storehouse will lay them out for you in the order in which they were selected. You then have the option to go through, expand or move the photos, add headlines and captions, and within just a few minutes, you can create this cool scrolling narrative. You can also share the stories to your social networks, but if you want to get an embed link, you have to go to Storehouse on the web. Here's what the stories look like on a larger screen like the iPad. This is one of my favorites. It's an astronaut at the International Space Station showing what astronauts ate on Thanksgiving. Cornbread dressing. Rehydrate that, that's gonna be... I'm sure all of you were wondering what astronauts eat when you saw Interstellar last weekend. Now there are a few features that are currently missing from Storehouse. For example, there's no way to add audio or a voice track to your narrative after the fact. The video clip has to already have audio in it when you import it. Also, there's currently no way to really edit photos or add a filter to them, aside from resizing them. But overall, I really like this app and I hope you found this quick video helpful. For more information, you can check out my full review of Storehouse on Recode.net. Thanks for watching. I'm Lauren Good and I'll see you next week.